it's time to make some passive income with our crypto. We're talking all about staking. This is actually part two of a video series. The first video is linked up above. I'd encourage you to go check that out because that lays a really good foundation about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake and what staking is all about and, and how it works. We're, today, we're getting tactical. I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step step how to stake on both Coinbase and on Kraken. We're gonna be going step-by-step step in my real account. So with that, sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Brian Logan. I am so thankful that you are here. Before we get started, just a few things. First of all, I'm gonna be showing you both Coinbase and Kraken. I've included links below to access those sites and set up accounts. Secondly, there's gonna be a lot covered in this video. So I've included some timestamps below in the description to help you jump around and go back as needed. I also have a blog, brianlogan.com, where I'll post any visuals I use in this, as well as the transaction of this video. And I also just set up a Discord channel where you can come and ask questions and do screenshots, and we can just chat more about staking or crypto or orders, anything at all. So be sure to check that out in the description below. And lastly is a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor or have any licenses, and staking and cryptocurrency all come with risk. So be sure to understand that before you choose to get involved in it. Now let's jump right in. I'm gonna be talking both Coinbase and Kraken. And the reason for that is because they offer different coins to stake. So you might have some coins that are available to stake on Coinbase that aren't on Kraken and vice versa. So I wanna cover our bases and go through both of those. So first, we're gonna be starting with Coinbase. We're gonna jump over the computer and I'm gonna show you where you can find out what coins they have to stake, what the APY are on those coins, and also I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer coins between Coinbase Pro and Coinbase and how to get everything set up so you're good to go. Then I'm gonna be jumping over to Kraken and showing you the exact same thing. So with that, let's jump over to the computer and get started. All right, so we are over on our PC and we are logged into Coinbase. So the first thing we need to check is which coin do we want to stake? And this video really isn't about which one is the right one to choose. It's really about how to, to go through the process of staking. So with that in mind, there's really two places you can go. Once you're logged in, uh, the most direct way is to go over to the right-hand side and click on this earn interest button over here. So it's gonna bring you to your dashboard page here on staking and it'll give you information on what coins you have staked and what your lifetime interest is. Uh, it will also show you which coins are available for staking and and their current APY or their annual percentage yield that you earn on those staking coins. Now, the unique thing about Coinbase is actually if you own any of these coins, you're actually automatically put into staking, which means that you will automatically earn all of these percentage rates. Now, you do have the option to opt out of that, um, but they assume, they assume that most clients actually want to get this percentage, so you're automatically opt in. So if you hold any of these coins, you are already receiving some interest. So for us, we wanna go ahead and add something to here since we don't have anything. Um, and just for the purposes of demonstration, we're gonna add some Cosmos or Atom is the coin. Um, so currently, I don't have any Atom in my Coinbase account. You can see back here, if we go back to our accounts page, I don't have much in this Coinbase uh, account, and that's because all of my coins live in Coinbase Pro, which is where you should be trading because that has the lower fees. So we're actually going to go over to Coinbase Pro first, get our Atom coin, transfer it over to Coinbase, and then we'll see that we are staked for that coin. So let's do that. So let's go over to Coinbase Pro. Once you're logged in again, this is what your Coinbase Pro screen looks like. We've already decided that we're going to do some Atom or Cosmos. So we're going to go up here to the top left, select our market, Atom, so here we are in Atom. I currently don't own any Atom, um, and we're just gonna do this for the purposes of demonstration for staking. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy about $30 worth of Atom. So that's great. the great thing with staking, and there's usually not any minimums. So let's just go ahead and do a market order for Atom. We'll go ahead and place that, filled, excellent. So now in our account, we can go to our portfolios and see that we do in fact have the Atom, which is right here, Cosmos. All right, so we've got our uh, about $26 after our fees. So now we need to transfer this over to Coinbase in order to stake because you cannot stake on Coinbase Pro. So to do that, it's super easy. We're just gonna go to withdraw. We're going to choose our coin, which is our Atom. We're gonna go over to coinbase.com. We've got the 0.7 Atom in our deep portfolio. We wanna go to Coinbase. We're gonna choose, we want the full amount. It's instant, so we're gonna hit withdraw. All right. All right, so now we're all set. We don't have our Atom in our Coinbase Pro account anymore. It should be in our in our Coinbase account. So let's head back to Coinbase. All right, so once we, re so once we refresh the page, we can see we've got our Atom in our Coinbase account. And you can see already it's earning the 5% APY. Again, we didn't actually have to do anything to stake that. Coinbase automatically does it for us. 
If we wanna find out more information about it, we can just click on our Cosmos. We can see our transaction from Coinbase Pro, and then we can see down here our APY that we're earning and our lifetime rewards. If you wanna change and not opt into staking, you can just hit manage. And this is where you can choose to not earn a yield on your Atom or any of the other coins that you can stake. So again, Coinbase is unique in that it automatically stakes your coins. You have the option to pull them away. So pretty simple to do on Coinbase. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it on for now. And here's some information about the, the total earned interest, the amount of pending interest. Obviously we just started staking, so we're, we haven't earned any interest yet. Um, but for now, that's really all you have to do in order to stake on Coinbase. So before we leave Coinbase, just another note that your Atom or anything that you stake is not held up for a certain period of time. Um, so if you wanna transfer it out, say you wanna transfer it back to Coinbase Pro, all you have to do is go back to Coinbase Pro, hit deposit, select Atom, select Coinbase, and now you can see I can transfer that right back to Coinbase without any problems. That's another nice thing about these exchanges that there really no holding period for your stake coins. Coinbase is taking care of all of that on the back end. Now, if you wanna find out more information about staking on Coinbase, you can actually do coinbase.com backslash staking. And here they have those same information about the percentages of the different coins. And they also have a lot of FAQ um, about staking. And just a few things to call out here is that the answer to will you be taxed is the answer is yes. So just like a bank account, if you earn any interest, that interest will be taxed. And Coinbase will provide the tax documents you need for that. So before we leave Coinbase, another thing to note is Ethereum. So there's an option to convert your Ethereum over to Ethereum 2.0 and stake Ethereum that way. Because Ethereum as it exists today is actually a proof of work protocol, but it is shifting to, to a proof of stake in the future. So you can read more about that. Unfortunately, when you do that to Ethereum 2.0, those coins are locked. So unlike Atom that we just showed you where you can just transfer those back and, and, and sell them um, as needed, you can't do that with Ethereum 2.0. So be sure to do some more research before choosing to stake your Ethereum that will be transferred into Ethereum 2.0. All right, so that's staking on Coinbase. Hopefully that was helpful. If it was, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Now we're gonna jump over to Kraken to show you what's different. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to stake on Kraken. So if we go over to Kraken, so you obviously have to have an account, which there's a link below if you need to set one up. We're gonna go over to Kraken. Once you sign in, it looks like this. So similar to Coinbase, we need to figure out what coin we wanna choose. So if you go up to earn, it's going to show you all of the different assets or coins that you can stake and the reward that it's currently owning. So right now uh, you can see Cardano uh, is about four to 6% and I actually have staked some Cardano. I just did it uh, maybe yesterday, so I haven't actually earned any rewards yet because it takes some time to, to post. Today I'm gonna show you how to do Polkadot. And as I mentioned, we're gonna do this starting in Coinbase Pro and then coming over to Kraken just so you get a sense of what that transfer looks like and then staking the Polkadot. You could also just buy Polkadot right in Kraken. In fact, the fees on Kraken Pro are less than Coinbase Pro, but more on that in another video. For now, we're gonna start in Coinbase Pro, transfer these over to Kraken and stake our Polkadot. So if we go back to Coinbase Pro, I actually have some Polkadot already. So I'm gonna go up to Portfolios. So you can see I've got about 10 polka dots. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer these over to Kraken so that we can stake them and start earning that 12%. So the first thing we need to do is go to Kraken and we need to deposit these funds into Kraken. So to do that, we're gonna go over to funding and we are going to deposit. We are going to search for polka dot. And now this is showing the our public address in order to transfer the funds from Coinbase Pro into Kraken. So we're going to go over to Coin, we're gonna go back to Coinbase Pro. We're gonna click on Polkadot. We are going to withdraw, make sure we're doing Polkadot. We're going to do a crypto address since we're not staying within the Coinbase area, we're gonna to go to a different crypto address. So we need to enter that dot or Polkadot address. So we're gonna go back to Kraken. We're going to copy this address. We're going to paste it, use this address. It validates that it is a valid Polkadot account. So we're gonna go ahead and move over. Uh, let's go ahead and do eight of those Polkadot. So we're gonna choose eight Polkadot and our, we can see our network fee and our overall total. It'll be there in about 10 confirmations. So we're gonna hit withdraw. And before we do, always make sure that the address that you put in was copied correctly. Luckily they have a nice easy copy button here. Um, otherwise you can lose these coins. And you can see here that here it says about 20 confirmations, about two minutes. So we actually won't see it deposited for about two minutes. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. 
And now we're done. So now we just need to go over to Kraken and wait for our deposit to show up and then we can stake. So we're gonna come here and I will pause and wait for those two minutes until our Polkadot shows up. All right, so it was about three minutes, but now we can see in our Kraken account, in my Kraken account, you can see that Polkadot um, that was moved over from Coinbase Pro. So now we are ready to stake on Kraken. So the way we do that is we just go up to earn, we're gonna select Polkadot and we come over here to this little action that looks like a little database and a, an arrow down, we're gonna hit stake. And then you can choose how much you wanna stake. So now we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do 100%. So all eight of my Polkadot that we moved over, we can see the reward payout interval is twice a week at a 12% APR. And then the there is no minimum to, to, to stake, which is great. So now we're just gonna hit stake and we're good to go. These assets will appear in your staking wallet when the transaction has been completed. So now it's gonna move over to a different wallet used specifically for staking. Um, and then we will be able to see that show up here in another three minutes or so, and we are good to go. So that's how you do it on Kraken. There's really no holding time with most of these coins other than, again, Ethereum has is, is a bit unique. And I think they explain it a little bit here. Yeah, here you go. Um, so feel free to, to, to read this and look through what that means if you want to try to stake your Ethereum. But for all of these other coins, it's really liquid. If I just want to go ahead and unstake, all I have to do is hit unstake, how much I want to unstake and hit it. It'll be deposited back into my account. No holding periods or anything like that. So again, that's where exchanges make it really easy to start staking. So that's it for Kraken. So now we can see my stake Cardano and soon we will see my Polkadot pop up here in about three minutes or so. For now, we're just going to go ahead and end there and hopefully you found that helpful. All right, that was staking in Kraken. Hopefully that was helpful to see what it was like and also give you a little bit of difference between Coinbase and Kraken. No matter what platform you choose, it's pretty easy to stake your coins and start earning some interest. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And with that, thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Logan. Remember to stay healthy, love your family, and elevate your wealth.